Okay, guys, we've done it, Mum, Uncle. Where's the dog gone? There you are. <laughs> Very worried about that puppy. He seems to always be disappearing. Any luck? Yes. They've agreed to help us. I'll speak to Athenro and see when the bride. How did you know? Wait that? here. Then we made it. The voyage is over. Uh, for a year. We'll see what happens when this debt is repaid. If only Carver were here with us. And the Westlers. Let's just see what happens. We have a long year ahead of us. Oh, look at that hopeful face. Thus began the champion's first year in Kirkwall. Word arrived from across the sea that the hero of Ferelden had defeated the Blight. But Lothering was destroyed. Kirkwall was the champion's home now. So she remained, paying off her debt. Made a name for herself in the underworld. It was a busy year in the city. That's when the Kranari landed. A great storm had caught their ship and left hundreds of warriors stranded in the city, waiting to return home. That's also when the trouble began with the mages. The Templars had become very powerful under Knight Commander Meredith. But, most importantly, that's when I first met the Champion. Ah yes, the most important part of that story. Actually, who am I kidding? That is the most important part. Yay! Wow, that music is very... Uh... <laughs> Look at his anime hair. He's got such anime hair and he's like... Adraste's tits, human. You know how many people want to hire onto this expedition? But we heard you're going into the deep robes. Surely you'll need all the help you can... No. You're too late. Already done. This is the sort of venture that can make a man for life. I'm not about to take any chances hiring random humans. <sighs> yeah, we, we have experience. We've fought and killed Darkspawn. How many of your hired men can say the same? Get in line, human. Half of Kirkwall wants to be my best friend right now. You're looking for a quick way out of the slums, right? You and every other Ferelden in this dump. Find another meal ticket. What are we supposed to do now? We've got nothing to stop the next person who tries to sell us out. This expedition was our last chance. The Templars are your problem. <laughs> That's a bit rude. <laughs> You know, just relax a bit, okay? Calm down, take a deep breath. Don't worry, Bethany. I won't let any big bad Templars come get you. It's not a joke. If the Templars find me, the best I can hope is to be locked away for the rest of my life. If they don't kill me outright. We need coin, status, something we can hide behind. As long as we're just refugees, we're no one. Oh, maybe Gamlin knows someone who can talk to Bartram for us. Oh, yeah, he got us into this mess. Gamlin is the reason we've been here for a year. He got us into Kirkwall. We've been safe so far. We might as well ask. Otherwise, I don't know what we'll do. Is that Sandal? That looks like Sandal. Motherfucker! Hey! Oh! -ho! Okay. I knew a guy once who could take every coin out of your pockets just by smiling at you. But you, you don't have the style to work high town, let alone the merchant's guild. You might want to find yourself a new line of work. Oh, <laughs> punches him as well. Oh my god. How do you do? Merrick Tetris, at your service. I apologize for Bartrand. He would 
wouldn't know an opportunity if it hit him square in the jaw. But you would. I would. What my brother doesn't realize is that we need someone like you. He would never admit it either. He's too proud. I, however, am quite practical. I, I've fallen a little in love with him, okay? Just a little. Like, I, I... The last time I saw him was in Inquisition. I did not know this was how you are introduced to him. Oh my god. So you know who we are. Do we know who you are? You introduced yourself, so... What makes you so certain we can help? You know nothing about us. Oh, on the contrary. You've made quite the name for yourself over the last year. The Coterie has been squeezing smugglers out left and right, and the only group to survive owes it all to you two. The name Hawk is on many lips these days. Not bad for a Ferelden fresh off the boat. And what about Bethany? Fuck Bethany, she just like hurt my feelings earlier. Uh, so you're in the expedition then, I assume? You're part of Bartram's venture. That's right. The deep roads wouldn't normally be my thing, but I can't allow the head of our family to go down there alone. Mm. So as you might imagine, I have more than a passing interest in this expedition's success. Yeah, you're a little too smooth, though. That that felt like you maybe paid that guy off to to beat him up. Although you did like literally stab him in the shoulder, but maybe not. But you did wait for an opportune moment, so you're a little too smooth, my man. You're going awfully far out of your way just to hire another guard. We don't need another hireling. We need a partner. The truth is, Bartran's been tearing his beard out trying to fund this on his own, but he can't do it. Invest in the expedition. 50 sovereigns and he can't refuse. Not with me there to vouch for him. <laughs> 50 sovereigns is a lot of money. You'd vouch for Why me. Why would you stick your neck out for a complete stranger? I'd rather take a chance on someone with your reputation than head into the deep roads unprepared. And besides, we'd be your partners. I'm willing to give a little trust if you are. Ah. That's very nice. And he would share the profits if I'm putting 50 so How much sufferings are they putting up, though? Your brother doesn't seem like the sort who's willing to split profits. My brother is many things, but he is not stupid. Far better to share the profits than be trapped in a tide with a thousand dark spawn between you and the exit. Trust me, he'll come around. Uh-huh. Well, let's be real with you. I don't have that much coin. It sounds interesting. But if I had any gold, I wouldn't need this job. You need to think big. There's only a brief window after a blight when the deep roads won't be crawling with darkspawn. The treasure you find down there could set you and your family up for life. It won't be easy, but it's a chance. I think we have to take it. Better to work our way into this expedition than sit around waiting to be thrown in the gallows. We work together, you and I. And before you know it, you'll have all the capital you need. What do you say? Okay. I would say yes, but let's not seem too, uh, too desperate. So I'm just supposed to trust you, am I? What's to stop you from taking my investment and running? You'll be traveling with the expedition, and I'll be at your side. If I cross you, you'll be the first one to know, and I'll be the last. And how could you help me then? What makes you so certain you'll be useful to me? I know everyone in this city worth knowing. I can help you find the jobs you need, and if you don't need me for that, there's always Bianca. Bianca? You named your crossbow. And why not? She's a beauty. Isn't that right, sweetheart? She is a beauty. Uh, this seems like a long shot, though. There might be nothing down there except dark spawn and rubble. How can you be sure we'll make a profit? Well, Bartrand isn't grasping at strings. He's operating on some good information. Some of the deep roads are so old, even the dwarves have forgotten them. We just need to get down there. Then Bartran will lead the way. You and I will be there to handle problems. 
then I will do it then. Fine, I guess you've, you've waylaid my suspicions. You have a deal. Perfect. Kirkwell's crawling with work. You set aside some coin from every job and you'll have the money in no time. Maybe Aveline can find us some work. She's got a position with the city guard now. We should talk privately when you get the chance. In the hanged man, maybe. I'll be there when I'm not with you. Now, let's go see what trouble we can stir up. Ah, High Town, where the rich go to piss their money away. <laughs> this really is the best place in Kirkwall. I didn't. Uh, I don't know whether I like this outfit. It's a bit of an ugly one. Anyway, I figure first things first, we should follow Be Bethany's idea. Because her idea was to go find Aveline, see if she's got a job for us. But also, I don't know whether you've noticed, but our previous warrior kind of um, died about a year ago. And we now have, I believe, Varric is a rogue. I don't know how that was going to help. Yeah, he's a level four rogue. Uh, so we'll give him the dexterity. Give him a bit of cunning as well. And he has marksman's ability, so we don't really want to give him a uh, whatever you call it, dual wielding. God, that face. Okay, so let's have a look. So that does not help me. Okay, Viscounts keep offending the guard. That is the way that we should be heading. Got some thingies there, but we will we will go get Aveline first and then figure out where to go next. Let me zoom out a bit. A bit close quarters. You don't seem to like your brother very much. And here I thought it took blood magic to read minds. I had a twin brother, Carver. Dude, fuck off. He used to nail my braid to the bed while I was sleeping. I never thought I'd miss him this much. Sorry about your brother. Hey, you want mine? I got a spare. <laughs> Is that why you cut all of your hair off? I imagine that might be why you got sick of it. And then the reason I didn't was because I would have punched him in the throat. Kirkwall Hightown. Okay, so let's go up here. Wow, we're definitely going up in places. We were like refugees and now we're in the Viscount's keep. Well, we're about to be anyway. Ooh, fancy. Did you hear what Lord Varric said? It's pointless talk. Things will never change. Wait, what did Lord Barry say? I didn't, I don't know. Let me know. Tell me. Can't miss the keep. It practically screams nothing fun ever happens here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's also a weird thing to say when we're right at the door, which is kind of creepy. It's a bit wavy. Why is it like that? There we go. And we are in the keep. Ooh, gather my party. I think it's just us three, isn't it? Oh, she's in the background. So that means that she's probably going to be a party member. I'd love to, but I can't click on her. Which makes sense, because we have played with her before. Hierarchy of the Circle. Going to read... Ooh. I've been waiting all day. Well, good luck to you guys. I don't... Yeah, people keep talking to me. Stop talking to me, please. There's nothing else here. This bit's a bit, uh, bit uneven. Clean it up, hey? Oh, they're all like this. Jeez, this is supposed to be the Viscount's keep. Door. This will be where all the. Uh, you have entered a companion's home base. Ooh. So this is where Aveline hangs out when she's not with us, um, huh? 
There she is. Let me just have I don't a... think I can do that. Well, why not? Fine day, Sarah. Thank you. Kirkwall City Guard. I think this time I'm just gonna read the more important things. Mainly about the characters. And then read these on my in my spare time. Perhaps Carver would have worked here with Aveline. Perhaps that would have been nice. Ooh. Yeah. Whoa, what was that noise? Hey guys, how you doing? I'm just looting Aveline's home. What are you doing? Okay. Okay. What on earth is that? Is that like message board? Hello, Hawk. Been a while, hasn't it? What? Oh, right. Sorry. It feels like we just talked. I've been keeping an eye on you. Information is one of the few perks of this job. Watch out for Bartram. He's a son of a bitch. <laughs> you were spying on me again? <laughs> you know I don't like it when you have people watch me. Saved me camping on your doorstep. After what we went through to get here, uh... Well, you're no child. But I take care of my friends. Aww. The places they have me patrolling, I've got time. Uh, so, you're not happy as a guard? She seems happy as a guard. But did you eavesdrop anything useful? A person in your position. Seems like they might learn some profitable things. You know better than to ask that. One day you'll be frustrated enough to go for it. It's like I'm spitting on my hands. There are dangerous people in this city. In fact, I might have a job for you. Let me know if you want to do a favor for Carl. That's why we're here. Otherwise, I'm here if you need me. Maker knows I could use more satisfying work. Oh, I guess I guess it is a bit boring. Yeah, are you happy here? Seems like Kirkwall suits you. It has been a challenge. Lots of opportunity. If you're the type the locals want, are you? If you argue enough, you kind of convince yourself. Would you return to Farden if given the chance? The blight is over. You could go back. Not Lothring. She never went to Lothring. It was just where the Horde pressed us. It wasn't the first village I saw fall. But you don't get used to people losing everything. I only went back to fight. Yeah, it's, it's sad to leave it that way. It's not how I wanted to say goodbye. I'll say that. You can't go home again. That's supposed to be about maturity. It's not the same if you don't have the option. Do you miss being a soldier then? This must be a very different pace from serving King Kalen. It's just one more change though. The real end for me was Ostagar. You and Carver must have felt something similar. I don't know if that's right to say. I barely knew him. Mm, no, you're right. Death on that scale certainly has a finality to it. Sometimes I wonder. Do we answer, Do we ask about Wesley? Do you miss him? Probably as much as we miss our brother, right? It's been a year settling in. Are you all right? You don't need to coddle me. I am where I am. How close I hold my memories is my own business. Okay. Okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to upset you, but uh, we'll move on. What is this job? Because I am looking for 50 gold. Does it give me 50 gold? All right, Aveline. You have something worth doing? My patrols may be empty walks in the dark, but there's something big coming up, and I could use you. An ambush, probably for a caravan. Although I can't find any shipments that match up. Doesn't matter though. I women waiting for someone to rob. I'm putting a stop to it, my district or not. Okay. Can you even hire me to help? Because I love you, Aveline, and I probably would do this for you, but 
it would be better if I got paid for it. I'm no guard, Evelyn. There's only so many of us. Temporary recruits are expected time to time, as long as they're competent. You still claim to be competent, right? Yes, of course. Uh, so who are we up against? Oh, excuse me. Who are we up against? Who am I fighting? Do you have a name or anything else to go on? Not important. If we show up and they attack, they're bad. Simple as that. Okay. I'll wager it's smugglers, though. Like I said, seems like an obvious trap for a caravan. And how did you find out about it? In those long walks in uh, empty alleyways or whatever you said. Sorry, Evelyn, I've already forgotten. You've been nosing around outside your commission. I have contacts, and they're complaining about a lack of meat. Thugs and such. Someone is hiring. And one or two were told to prepare for travellers. You want to be good at this job? You pay attention to what's missing and when people arrange escape routes. Okay. And why are you coming to me and not the other guards? Are you still being um, hazed? Seems like you'd want to share this with your fellow guards. I will, if you sit on your hands. I'll send my alerts and someone else will lead a patrol. But there's profit and influence to be had. You're my friend, so I'm offering. Ah, oh, let's do it then. Aveline. You've got yourself a partner. I knew I could count on you. They're hidden up Sundermount, remote and rough, but we can make good time with a shortcut this side. And no, you can't run off and do it without me. I trust you, but I have to be there. You're acting on behalf of the guard. Okay. Miss L, please stop kicking the wall. Excuse me? The guard. Who's he talking to, Aveline? Who was kicking the wall? Nobody was kicking the wall as far as I was seeing. Am I blind? I might be blind. Okay, so did we pick up? We did. Let's go, guys. So that, mi that mission is to head to Sundermount, and I believe... That is also where we need to do that Flemeth quest. Yeah, deliver Flemeth amulet to keep a Marathari in the Dalis camp on Sunderbounce. Uh, we also need to go to Gamlin's home, find 50 Sovereign, and talk to Varric in Lowtown's Hanged Man's Pub. Uh, yep, and then the way it should be, take Evelyn to find the ambush hiding along the path of Sundermount. The location of the bandits will only be clear if she is present. And then a hell of a lot of uh, DLC stuff. Wow. Remember that incident at Chateau Hain? There's a memento from that place at Gamlin's house. Uh, go home and check the estate chest. Go home and check the black sheep cash chest. Okay, there's a lot of stuff. I guess a lot of things are saying to go home. So we might have to head home before we do anything else. Pick up a few quests along the way. Yeah. Okay, that's a lot of stuff. But let us continue, girls and boys. Ooh. Fancy. Okay, so we are here. We're going to go to Hightown first, though. Work our way through the town and then head to... What is that? Kirkwall Day and Kirkwall Night. Okay. We've got nothing on Kirkwood Day, so let's go to Hightown. Like I said, work our way through it. I know there was a couple of quests I missed on my uh, endeavour to get lovely Aveline. Are you really not afraid of apostates? Not even a little? Sunshine, I'm a dwarf, in case you missed that detail. Dwarves aren't completely immune to magic, you know. 
No, no, no. I meant there are at least 30 people in this town who'd murder my family over trade deals. Who has time to worry about apostates with a merchant's guild breathing down your neck? In that case, I see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's a perfect time for your day to invade. For Elden lost most of her standing army in the struggle. What are you doing, Bethany? If Borday wants to reclaim that dirty battlefield, now's the time. But anyway, I'm glad there's still the uh, the companion like little tidbits. I don't know why I was like surprised that they were in here because I think they're always like all three games have them. So we've got this one over here. Good day to you. Good day to you. Sebastian, stop this madness. The Chantry cannot condone revenge, Sebastian. It is my right, my duty, to show these assassins there is nowhere in the Three Marches to hide. This is murder. No. What happened to my family was murder. Well, he's rude. But I like the accent. <laughs> was she talking about us or was she talking about Sebastian? Because he was kind of rude there. Hi, Chanta. I've been drastated, say. Those who harm a house of the Maker have done harm unto the Maker himself. <clears throat> okay. So a grave crime was uh, committed against all free-thinking men and women in the Free Marchers. The ruling Vale family in Stark Haven, my family, was brutally murdered, down to the youngest babe in arms. The massacre was carried out by members of the Flint Mercenary Company. I hereby offer a bounty on the head of each Flint Company soldier in Kirkwall vicinity. Prince Sebastian Vale. Well, you know, it's a it's a mercenary company. It'll probably give me a bit of money, a bounty on each head. How many is there in Kirkwall vicinity? I can convince myself of anything. Oh, so I've completed that one, and the other one's not come up. Where was that? Duty. So search the Kirkwall docks at night for the Flint Company mercenaries. Go to Sundermount to find the Flint Company mercenary mercenaries, and go to the Wounded Coast to find the Flint Company mercenaries. Okay, we can do that. Do you think there's anything for us in the uh, in the chantry? Got at least one more quest up there to pick up. We'll have a look. See if there's, you know, see if we can talk to that woman. See if she can convince us. No, there's nothing here. But we'll have a little Do wonder. You ever wish you lived in Orzammar? Great ancestors, no. You know what Orzammar is? It's cramped tunnels filled with thug shit and body odor. And every person there thinks he's better than you because his great-great-great-grandfather made a water clock or something. But they're your people. Don't you even wonder what it would be like? I have a good imagination. Why would I waste it on that? Oh. I guess so. But anyway, there's nothing for us here, so let us just head back to, uh, to Hightown. Pick up that you other show admirable restraint, Bethany. For a mage, you mean? I could also say for a hawk, but yes, for a mage. <laughs> you have a sword. Why aren't you killing someone right now? Fair point, but I can put my sword down. Believe me, I have tried. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but I noticed. How do I holster my weapons? Oh, yeah. Page of the Chant of Light Doctrine. Why would I want that? Okay, 
So where is it's up north? Okay. Oh, there's a crate. I want the crate. Light gauntlets, huh? They could look nice on me. Have you seen a dog? Small, with a blue bow about her neck. I haven't. I'm sorry, I'll look out for it. They keep freaking me out like the little dots of my companions just following behind me. Dogs in Abilene. Oh cool, you know it's I've got Abilene. Robes by Jean Luc. Okay, so that's just some uh, things that you can get from him. Okay. Ooh, a backpack. I didn't realise that we'd need backpacks in this. You won't find better prices. Okay. What do you have? You want daggers? Got them too. Got daggers, huh? Let's have a look. Yep, you got some nice oh you got a head stopper, huh? An army. Gosh, we've got seven silver and we're supposed to find 50 gold. Good gosh. Why Why do you have like staffs and stuff? Okay. Hey guy. Ah, long time no see, my friend. Worthy, when did you get back into town? Oh, uh, just a month or so ago. Things didn't work out in Orzammar. You aren't still working for Athenwell, are you? Your year must be up by now. Uh, I'm fun I'm currently trying to fund an expedition. I'm looking to become an explorer of a sort. I heard. Bartrand's hard to take, but his information is usually good. Hard to take? <laughs> That's putting it mildly. Tell you what, I still have my old contacts. You need some rune crafting done, I can arrange it. Take care, oh, that's Hawk. sweet. Don't get dead. I'll try not to. So you've unlocked at a crafting station, huh? Let's have a look. So you can order runes if you discover the right combination of resources. Kind of doesn't look like we have or can afford them at the moment. So okay, very nice to uh, meet you, worthy friend that I've known for over a year. First time meeting. Okay, so we've been to Hightown. We should head to the docks. See if there's anything there for us. Yep, yeah, we've got one guy there. Noble, right? By some definition of the term. Do you ever wonder what your life would have been like if you were still noble? Sunshine, nobility is just an expensive lifestyle. I've already got one of those. Nobles have power too, and responsibilities. Estates, servants, investments, mercenaries, assassins. <laughs> We've still got all those things. It's sunnier here, and nobody calls me my lord. I think I can live with that. Yes, my lord. I think the canary is spying on us. Okay. That guy, that is he a guard? He looks so creepy just standing there. Just like. Have you seen an elf about? Short, blonde hair, slight build. I haven't, no. Oh gosh, he's like in the middle of like a horror movie. You just turn and look down like an alleyway and there's just somebody there standing. Looming, even though they're so far away. And you try and get away from them, but you just can't. Jesus. Jesus, don't say that. What the hell? 
How rude. Okay, what's down there? Where does that lead? Does it tell me? No, but creepy nonetheless. Whoa. Who am I sighting? Okay. Okay. Oh, Aveline, that's so sweet of you to say. I just love it when it's just one person left and they've got um Lord Harriman, what do we do with the human? Stand down. She's not our foe. What was that about? Assassins. The boat to Ravain is within sight, but the Carter would see me dead before I get there. How would you like to make some coin? Oh, I always like making coin. But why is the Carter after you, first of all? You must have greatly angered the Carter for them to attack you with so many witnesses around. My family was murdered one by one by King Balin after my uncle failed to claim the throne. Balin's reach is long, and his vengeance a terrible thing to behold. Ah, uh, this is my personal fault for Sylvie choosing Balin over Harrymont, I guess. So you're a lord, huh? I've never seen a dwarven lord. You still haven't. If you're looking at him in daylight, he's not a lord anymore. I'm Renvil Harrymont, the last of my house. My family was once revered in Orzammar. Now I'm nothing but a surfacer on the run. Yeah, well, I'm always looking for money, so what do you need help with? I'll clear the way for you, Harrimont. Dispatch these ruffians and I'll pay you what I can now. And by the ancestors, I will reward you proper when I am safe. What is your name? Hawk. A good name. I will remember it. The Carter has several groups lying in wait for us. Take the battle to them. Okay. So we got a bit. Of, we got a bit of uh, silver. We've almost doubled the amount of silver we've got now. I believe. Let me have a look. Yeah, we had seven. We now have thirteen, <laughs> just by killing one cart to assassin. Hey guys. Harrimont spoke to you, didn't he? He did. Whatever reward he offered, we'll offer you more to kill him. I... No, I... Maybe you would offer us more, but he's not a bad guy, and to be honest, I don't want to have that sort of reputation where money is whatever I need, you know? Like, I'd do anything for money. If I have a contract, I have a contract. Although it's not contracted to promise. So I'm sorry, dude, but I promised and it's time to die. How about I take care of you instead? Stupid bastard! Dwarf. Bitch. Well, where did he go? Oh. See, 12 silver. <laughs> we have once again almost doubled it. What, 26? Oh, we can do this. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Nobody Please here. All right. Got work to do. People are so rude to us. Yeah, I'm... Well, I guess I'm nobody, but still. You know how the Orlesians are about their bloody schedule. Just keep the ships coming and we'll get them through. Right, so there's Oh Watch out by the Canari compound. They seem very angry. Wow, this guy's like super special. I got one of you at least. Dude! I just keep passing the fight and he's just like, yeah, well, no blight here, thank god. Whoa, okay, let's just get him on the ground. Okay. Let's pick 
that up, but badly copied leaflets. Take back our streets for elder refugees, Kunari soldiers. Who next? To winter slavers snatching children out of their beds? This ends now. Send a message that Kirk Wallers will not accept this. We must band together to drive fallen waste from our doorstep. Reclaim the free marchers for the marchers. If you care about our future, join the Friends of Kirkwall. Reclaim our city. No, thank you. Uh, yep. We didn't get much there, but we got a little bit. Oh. Have I mentioned that I hate this part of town? Baker, help me. I'd rather go to the Merchants Guild. Holy shit. Okay. Quite a lot of people here. Why can't they just group up together? I do, I, it's a little annoying when I'm fighting something and they just suddenly like zoom past me. But it's also really funny to watch them do that. Oh, let's get all them. And then, oh, you dealt with him, so let's uh, backstab. We can, we can do it, yeah. So I saw those guys and I thought they were crowded around watching the fight. But they're not, they're just uh, being annoying. I believe that was the last group of thugs. I believe so anyway. I thought this is why it said the hanged man was. Hey, shady merchants. In the market for something special, friend? What have you got? A cruel dagger, a rune staff, a fraternity staff, huh? Well, I, I won't say no to this, but not at the moment. Oh, I'm not gonna buy anything until I've got that fifty gold, okay? But I'll remember you're here. I know you've got plans. Hey guy, I killed them for you. I wager you've a bright future ahead of you. Take this. More will come, as promised. May the stone look after you. Hey, we've got gold. Excellent. One gold thirty-eight. We're we're getting there. We're one fiftieth of our way there. Let's have a look down here. Creepy little area they can leave. Oh yeah, access by low town. Okay, I just thought because it was like right there that it was just yep. Yeah. No, nope, my mistake. So let's head to low town. I don't know whether I know this symbol means that we've got a quest that we can complete there, but I don't know whether that shows quests that we can pick up. So yeah, obviously it picked up the Gamlon one, but does it also pick up Lady Elegance? I don't know. Ooh, fancy. A Ferelden in the guard. What will they think of next? You have a problem with that? Me? My family's not native either. I'm just surprised. A lot of old prejudice in the guard. I'll give them plenty of reason to change their minds. You know, it's possible they're just scared shitless of you. That's my theory, anyway. It's a great theory. I believe that theory. So let us... Let us pick up the Lady Elegant quest first. God, this place is a shithole. Is this where we've been living, like, the past year? Why are there, like, spikes everywhere? Ooh, armor. Uh, why would you think I could afford this? Like, you know, one gold ninety. 
I hope I get more than 50 gold and then I can just, you know, just spend as much as I want on anything that I can get my hands on. But at the moment, I need all the money I can get. But once I hit 50, oh boy, I'm going shopping. And there's some more stuff here. More trouble than commerce in this place. That I can buy. I don't know why I keep looking, but I'm just like, hmm. A ring of minor cantrips. Blood magic, huh? Maybe not. Rune of fire warding. Cool. You want daggers? Got them too. Come, Mister. Don't be shy. Ooh. by the scholar Genitivi. These ashes cure any ailment and provide virility in more intimate matters. Do I have a volunteer? <laughs> I'll try. Just a small pinch, Sarah. There you go. <sighs> My God, it's gone. Cure. Okay. <laughs> enough clear out you charlatans oh i didn't know that, that was a quest thing i was just really interested yeah she really sounded like she was faking it hey sergeant melindra every coin those swindlers nab goes straight to the carter's coffers they must be stopped okay um side quest huh miracle makers a minute Eliminate the Carter Swindlers operating in Motown. But will she pay us for that? Because it kind of seemed like a, uh, just a, a little murmur that she was talking to herself about. And so we'll be like, yeah, we eliminated them. And she's like, thanks, but why should I pay you? I didn't ask you to do it. My, my. If it isn't Hawk. Good to see you again, Elegant. Lady Elegant, if you don't mind. I'm a married woman now. Last time we met, you were still in Ephemeral's employ. Things have been going well since then. Okay, which one of us copied the hairstyle? I feel like you copied me. Because I had this a year ago. And you were like, yes, but it's, of course it's not your hairstyle because I can't pull off the bangs. I... Uh... Yeah, why do you want to know? Is there something you're interested in? You may recall I sometimes provided potions for ephemeral. I'd be willing to extend you the same courtesy if you like. Oh. All I ask is you inform me of any interesting reagents you find. In exchange, I'll approach my contacts on your behalf. And of course you'll need the appropriate recipes, such as this one. Free. For old time's sake. Well, now I feel a bit bad about being a bitch there. <laughs> but, you know, all these nosy people. So I can craft... Uh, I can craft potions, I guess, then. And what do you have? Okay. Slow town. Brother Jedi TV again. Hell yeah. Okay, so that's leaving the area. Apparel shop. This is where you get the lovely dresses, isn't it? Yes. Unfortunately, I can't wear them. Well, I could wear that one. Would it look nice on me, do you think? Oops. I think I'd look nice in a dress. And not this horrid green top and purple pants. Oops, get in. What's in here then? Will everyone please just step back? My mother's in labor. The baby's come early. Can anyone help us? I'll send word to the healing place. My son's hurt bad. Carve overturned on him in the blasted bone pit. Everyone. 
one in your turn. I promise we have donations coming in. There will be food and medicine for all of you. Okay. Weird. This is a donation box to aid world and refugees. I would love to, but at the moment I have no money to spare. First place I'll come back. Hey, Lorene. If you're seeking aid, leave your name with my girls. We serve everyone here. No one came from Ferelden without trouble. But I can't give priority to anyone who's already found work and lodging. Yeah, I'll, I'll help. Is there anything that I can help that doesn't involve giving money? Because I'm currently, you know, out working. So, like, if you want something from Sundermounts, I'm heading to Sundermounts. Can I help? Is there a way I can assist these people? If you've coin to spare, we won't turn it down. I don't Donations have money. The box up front. Anything else? I just want to see your wares. Look around. We don't often get customers with actual coin to spend. Yep, yeah, okay. What's found here then? Oof. I would not want to live in this building. And yeah, I'm going to take this stuff that obviously somebody's left here. Steal from the needy. Hell yeah. Hey, I'll need to remember. I probably want to help some people, you know? But just because I'm working and I have lodgings does not make me more... Uh, more desperate. More desperate? I don't think that's what I'm thinking of. Aha, there's a hanged man. Repent, and the maker will forgive. Being a god seems like a better life than being a soldier. Oh? My brother's a soldier. It's all about taking land and serving some king you've never met. Guardsmen, they do something real. They protect people. They make their lives better. I don't know if I agree. Neither would my brother. Aww. I can just talk to Varric whenever here, huh? You heard about that hero of Ferelden? Yes. Why? What makes a hero a hero, eh? I bet I could kill an archdemon. I bet you couldn't. I'll bet you a dozen ales. What? Well, now I'm going to show you. <laughs> Vain. TV again, hell yeah. Okay, so... Hey. So, I noticed some notes on the table the other day. Interesting work you've got there. <laughs> I'm doing a little writing. What's a speed griffin? <laughs> Do they zip around Fadus, terrorizing Darkspawn with their lightning reflexes? <laughs> speed what an asshole! Welcome to the hanged man. Any news? What's the word on the street? You hear about the Isle of Redcliffe. Some say Andraste herself reached down and cured him so he could unite the land. And what else? Any other news? The craziest thing. Apparent. The pigeon population has taken a nosedive in Ferelden. Weird, huh? What kind of sick individual preys on those innocent things? I guess a... Uh... A golem, but when I asked for news, I was thinking more along the lines of word on the street, not everything that's happening in Ferelden. So I am interested, but that's it for Thanks. now. I should go. Any time. How much is a drink, though? Three copper, we can do that. Yeah. Hey, drunk patron. Nora, well, you're the drunk ass that she keeps having to stop selling drinks to. Hey. You heard about that deep boat expedition? 
That's the plan. Derek. Hey guy, talk to man. We never had children. I mean, sorry if that's too personal. It's all right. I was a soldier and he was a Templar. We knew that our personal lives would have to wait. Distance never mattered. But we ran out of time. It is what it is. Ah. Now that he's gone, do you ever wish that's too personal? Yeah, like what ifs never help anybody really. What are you doing? What are you looking? You one of them. Sure. Oh, this is where this is where you live, isn't it, Varric? This looks like a Varric area. Yes, it does. Nice. It looks nice. Like you can clearly see there are some uh, dwarvish things here, even if you don't like being dwarf. Even if you don't enjoy Ozmar, you've definitely got a bit of uh, stuff. Let's chat then, shall we, Varric? So, here's the thing. We need to find a way into the deep roads. You haven't yet? Catherine can lead us to the right place once we're down there, but we need a good entrance. Uh, do we have a bad entrance? No. How do we do that then? I fought Darkspawn, but I've never been to the deep roads. Fortunately, I've received some new information. There's a Grey Warden in the city. If anyone knows how to get down there, it'll okay. be Okay. Grey Warden, what do we know about them? Yeah, how, how can you be so sure he'll know? Why would a Grey Warden know that? The Wardens don't just fight Darkspawn. They forge into the deep roads all the time. And if he doesn't know, he might be able to point us to those who do. Okay. And if he knows nothing? Are there any other options? Uh, none at the moment. Bartrand had an entrance lined up, but it was a bust. Well, that's not good. I'll keep looking, but if we don't find something, we'll have a fancy expedition with nowhere to go. Okay, then let's do it your way then. Sounds like you have it all planned out, Varric. And that, Messer, is why I'm here. Supposedly, this Grey Warden came in with some other Ferelden refugees not long ago. A low town woman named Vereen has been helping the Ferelden's. We talked to her. Maybe we learn where he is. Okay. I'll keep after my contacts. See if I can drum up any other work. Oh, 15 friendship with Varric. Jeez. That seems just like quite a lot. Uh, so, yeah, we need to bring 50 sovereign. And we need, according to Varric, the expedition needs a way into the deep rows before it can go anywhere. And we need to seek out a Grey Warden for help in the Deep Roads expedition. Varric heard that one is working as a healer somewhere. A shopkeeper named Lorraine in Lowtown may have more info. Okay. Oh, are you kidding? Jeez. Sorry. But Lorraine is that woman that we just went to. I'm going the wrong way. Isn't it? She's... She's that woman in that shop. Do I really want to go back to that shop? Not really. We'll, we'll get round to it, you know? Eventually. Varric, do you do anything? Am I the next stop in your career evaluations? Joy of joys. You watch and you talk. Is that it? You are dismissing hallmarks of both the utterly ineffectual and the incredibly dangerous. I don't know what you mean. It means coins flow when I talk and when I shut up. Like if you got paid to guard or unguard. That makes no sense. Good. <laughs> hey there, lovely. Which one of us are you sick calling lovely? Because I, I feel like all of us are lovely in that own way. Where are you going, darling? Oh, I'll be back. Don't you worry. Oh, she wasn't talking to any of us. That's a, that's a shame. Why have you got another one over here? Oh, this is the people. Not a step closer. No refunds on the ashes, friend. If the maker doesn't favor you, that's between you and him, isn't it? 
Well, seems like they want a beating, huh? You want to do the honours, I believe? Don't say I didn't warn you. Whoa, there's some others over here that I didn't say. We can get them. Oh, he actually managed to get past my stun. I'm just in the corner. I don't know what's going on. I'm almost dead as well. Okay. We did that. Card swindlers were killed. Returned to Sergeant Melindra in the Lotan Market before nightfall for reward. Ooh, and we got a uh, chess piece as well. It's better than what we've got. I should have a look to see. If there's any nice stuff that I've got, let's have a look. Okay. <laughs> I've got an ugly hat on, but everything else looks good. I got new um braces on, but I can't fit that other that other coat on because I'm a bit um what's the word on? It's a roof. I guess. Gamlin's house. Ooh. There's my good girl. Ooh, a weird book of anatomy, it looks like. Hard to believe they left me nothing. Check letters. Okay. When you ran off with your Ferelden apostate. I'm still their daughter, their eldest. Jesus Christ, I'm just looking at like at all the stuff that is in that room. I'm a little bit, um, a little bit, what's the word I'm looking for? Intimidated by going into that room. We'll uh, have a look at these potions. So this is where I get the potions then, eventually. And runes. So I can do them in my house. So we've got storage, have we? Okay, so let's have a look at. Let's talk to Mother first. Let's look at this first, actually. What's this? Hey, Bethany. I will never truly feel at home as long as we are living with Gamlin. True, true. What's up there? Why have we got like a thing up there, a giant door that none of us can get to? And the windows don't have like anything. Oh, this is not a nice place. The wind just comes right through the. Look at the ceiling! Oh. Hey, Gamlin. Get out of my face. Fuck you two. Your mother's bad enough. I don't need you nagging me. Are you okay, mother? My children have been in servitude. Servitude for a year. They should be nobility. If wishes were poppy, we'd all be dreaming. Can we stop the fighting, please? This is the way things are, mother. Gamlin can't change it now. Your mother was supposed to marry the Comte de Lance, and instead she ran off with some Ferelden apostate. You don't get to stay the favourite when you do that. Where is Father's will? If I could just see for myself. It's not here, all right? It was read. It went in the vault. No one needed to look at it again. So, what exactly did the will say? Did Grandfather mention Mother in his will at all? Our father died when you were still in pinafores, girl. You can hardly expect me to remember. Sounds like a yes to me. So it does, it does to me as well. So, what? tell me about our family then. You don't mention our grandparents that much? I know the Amels were nobility, Mother, but not much else. Why don't you ever talk about them? The Amels have been a noble family in Kirkwall since Garahel drove out the fourth flight. We've always carried magic in our blood. It's been a stain on our lineage. No family of good standing would ever marry into a line with magic. When I chose your father, I was bringing more magic into our line, not less. I think that's what hurt my parents the most. I feel like um, 
I wonder whether it'd be different at all if you do choose the Amel in the origin story. And then it's like, you know, she, she, like, how much further would you, like, go up in the villa team and be like, yes, we are magic, but one of ours saved us from the blight. Okay, so, uh, so, yeah, I'm going to go look. It's in the vault, so let's go get into the vault. Take me to the vault. Can't. It's in the cellar of the estate. Someone else lives there now. You didn't take your parents with. It was old news. You think I've been sitting here for 25 years waiting for Leandra to slink back? Who bought the estate, Gavin? Perhaps I could speak to them. Was it the Reinhardt? No one you know. Get used to Lowtown, sister. That's where we're going to stay. The question is, did he fuck us over or not? I'm... Bethany seems unsettled. Talk to her. Okay. I do... Because I do feel like he could have fucked us over, but I also feel like our mother may have fucked us over as well. <laughs> Either or, you know? So, I hate thinking badly of family. Did Uncle Gammon seem a little slippery when he talked about Grandfather's will? If he, say, invested money that was meant to be Mother's, do you think he would tell us? Uh, I'm sure he didn't do that. I'm not sure he didn't do that. He might not have done that. But our uncle is a born liar. But Gamlin can't say good morning without lying twice. Mother's been in such a fit of melancholy since Gamlin told her how angry her parents were about father. She told me she wishes she'd died with Carver. It's like coming here ruined every good memory of her childhood. I wish we could get some of it back. Well, you know. Maybe we can buy the estate. Um, maybe not, but we can, yeah. We need to get that will. Good. I'm glad we agree. Gamlin told me he gave the estate as payment to some slaver who beat him at dice. Apparently, our ancestral home is now a base for slavers from all over Thedas. Oh, that is... that is an outrage. How could Gamlin let that happen? I think there's a reason Mother didn't talk about him much. Seriously, though. Those scum have no right to our family's things. We should break in there. Get the will for Mother. I already talked to both of them about this. Gamlin said they guard the front entrance well. But Mother gave me her old key. She said it should unlock the cellar. Apparently the sewers run right beneath the house. Okay, so we can just avoid the uh, slavers altogether. That is a good choice. Find Grandfather and Mel's will. Go to Darktown and break into the cellar of the old family estate. Okay, so... Hey, there's a dog. He wasn't like this in Lotharin. Oh shit! No, he's a good girl! This is the open field. What's wrong, boy? Ooh. City life not agreeing with you. Poor thing. Maybe he'd be happier if we brought him with us more often. Uh, yeah, Gamlin might but no, I worry for his safety. He's part of the family. I wouldn't want to lose him. Take it. I'm sick of what's his name staring and panting. Gamlin, honestly, a Mabari understands what you say. Try using his name. What's wrong with dog? Real easy to remember. Okay. I'm disappointed. I wanted a female dog, okay? Okay, so our dog is Daffodil. What a cute little name for a cute little dog. Oh, baby. Sweet dreams, boy. I'll let you sleep. Yeah, we should bring him out more often. Okay. So, let's. what's in this way? Anything interesting? Is this where me and my sister live? Looks like the dog's trying to tunnel his way out of this trouble. Oh, 
isolation. I can't have mother living in this hole. We've got to get out of here. Oh shit, so it's me, mother and our sister. Are we at the right I guess we get the one at the top. A note to dress the gamlin. Gamlin Amel, payment is now two months late, sir. Interest accrues as you are well aware. You will find yourself barred from our establishments unless payment is made. Think. No bet or card shop or numbers runner in Copa will deal with you. I certainly hope this matter is attended to before steps are taken. Let us avoid further unpleasantness. Gallard. I think this is the same cheese that was here a year ago. Yes. Okay, so let's look at the writing desk then. Okay, so we've got uh, some letters for Hawk. We've got beat and switch. Hawk, you may be interested in something that's come up. A contact of mine, a fellow by the name of Anzo, is asking around for someone competent regarding a job, and I suggested you. He's always paid well, so if I were you, I'd check into it before someone else snaps it up. He said he'd be in the low town bazaar at night. A Well, we definitely must have like given a good impression to a because it looks like she's given us at least two things. So yep, we'll accept that. Hawk, your year's up and you're free to go. Despite what you think, we had a good thing working together. I might pass along an opportunity or two if you're willing to get your hands dirty. Stay safe, a Fenwell. A black emporium. Greetings. You do not know who I am, but I have heard of you. I understand you might need items for my collection, as well as the means to obtain them. I do not extend this invitation to anyone, but you are not similar to anyone, are you? Consider this an invitation to the Black Emporium. Enclosed are directions through the passages underneath the city, as the, is the charm to enter. If you give the charm to another, its permission will immediately be revoked, and the consequences will be unpleasant. Adieu, Zenon. And duty. To whomever elects to participate in the charitable deed of assisting the Vale family of Starkhaven, his most worthy highness, St. Sebastian Vale, has provided instructions for anyone brave and noble enough to attempt eradication of the rabble who had dared to attack his family. Three groups of Flint Company mercenaries have been sighted in the Kirkwall vicinity. One group makes home, makes camp not far from the elves of the Cinder Mount mountain range. The second has been seeking information on the docks after nightfall. The third is for, far from the main road off the wounded coast. They are believed to have a small campsite well past any known landmarks. A princely award awaits any who finds and defeats all those rogues. May the chanter, may the man could guide you, chanter Telepha. Okay, so we got that letter even though we've already accepted that quest. Okay, so let's brave this door then. Ugh, there's too much stuff in here. So I did empty up everything except what looks like like little DLC stuff. Uh, so I unlocked all the things. I actually somehow managed to level up to level 5 because of it. So I'm wearing my... Uh, top that looks pretty much similar and all the items I've just put in storage because they're pretty overpowered quite a lot of them. I don't know whether I'm going to uh, use them straight away. I'm not sure yet. Then again I might not because why the hell not? We will see. Like some of it we can use but anyway we've got we got an extra five gold as well. So we've got six gold now. And we've got some of these rumours. Don't know what these are for. So vague sources say that there's been a number of Templar raids held in Lowtown's elven alienage. You can't verify why, however, or who's been giving the orders. And we've also got an act of mercy. According to Varric, a group of mages being transported from Starkhaven hasn't arrived at the gallows. 
It's currently just a rumour, however, and cannot be followed up on at this time. We've got enemies among us. According to Varric sources, someone's been asking questions about a missing, missing Templar. No search seems to be underway, however, and nothing can be done to follow up on this just yet. Uh, Black Powder Promise. Varric says a dwarven merchant named Javaris has been offering a lot of coin for muscle. Finding out exactly where Javaris is, however, seems to be a problem. He'll keep looking. And Varric has heard rumours that some in the Chantry have been making quiet inquiries around Motown about the Punari. No one seems to be willing to talk about it, however. We've also got... Uh, the premium content has gone down from that many to just... Uh, four. So that's a that's much better uh, number, here. Yeah. Okay. Didn't mean to do that. But we're fast now. Zoom. Doesn't feel fast. But rest assured, we are. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed watching me play, consider subscribing using the button to the right. And if you want to watch more, click one of the videos to the left. See you in the next episode. Bye.